Hi everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me. Today I have a project to share with you using some new goodies. They just came out in the Simon Says Stamp December release. It's awesome. You got to check it out. So here's one of the new dies. It's called Stacked Hearts. Really, really fun. And I am going to stack up this Stacked Hearts. We're going to stack the stack. That's what I like to call it. So I'm die cutting this onto some Nina Solar White. I'm going to do this four times. Die cut four of them, adhere them all together, which I call stacking up. And gives it nice dimension, nice thickness, nice heft. So here's what it looks like once you die cut it. And, you know, a lot of times when I try to get my die cut out, I just slap it on there. I literally beat the tar out of the die cut trying to get the thing out. If it doesn't work, pull out your retractable needle and do it the civilized way. But here, this is all coming out. It all comes out in one piece and once you get that all out I want to show you all these cutie patootie little hearts and you know what I'm thinking I'm thinking using these hearts die cut some of these in different colors so then you got all these different colors of little mini hearts and put them in a shaker card you got little confetti ready to go boom okay so I'm going to use my spray adhesive to adhere these all together so much quicker than using a liquid and probably should be going outside to do this but I had to get it on camera and more importantly I'm way too lazy for that so I went ahead and stacked these all up and we'll move on to the next part of the card I'm gonna do a little ink blending on my panel this is gonna go behind my stacked heart so I thought what am I gonna do I do a little watercolor do a little ink machine what do I want to do and, and all of a sudden I pulled open my drawer and I saw the little tins of the mini hybrid inks by Simon's the Stamp. And they were calling my name. And look at these. I put them in the little distressed, um, the Tim Holtz distressed tins. And they just, they look like perfection in there. I love the colors. And it's so fun. I mean, I started with Catkin. That chartreuse green color, Debbie Hughes picked that one out. I love it. And then now I'm doing a little spring rain. And here I'll do a little high dive. And we're just kind of doing the ink blending in the middle. It's not perfect. But once you put that uh, die cut over top of it, it's pretty forgiving. You're not going to see all the imperfections. So I'm not worried about making it just flawless. And then on the bottom, I do a little blue jay. So I'm loving these little mini, I'm into the minis right now. I'm into the mini distress cubes and I'm into the mini hybrids. I think it's all about the tin is what it is. These tins, I got about four or five tins in my drawer now, but hey, if I got to travel, I mean, hypothetically, because honestly, I never travel, but if I did travel, I could scoop up those tins. I'd be ready to go craft anywhere in the world. It's all just a dream, but whatever. Okay, so now we're going to splatter a little bit of that Mr. Huey's opaque white just for some fun. We're just having fun. Next thing, we're going to do a little bit of Heidi Swap, that gold LeMay color shine. Love this stuff. I see Debbie Hughes use it all the time, and I'm her number one fan. If you didn't know that, I am, and I love how she splatters. So it's influenced me. And let that dry. I'm going to clean up my work surface there and hit it with my heat gun so that we can move on. And we are going to go ahead and adhere our stacked up stacked hearts using that spray adhesive again, and we're going to press down. I was, I, I was tempted to put some glitter on the hearts, but I refrained because I did the splatters and I thought, you know, don't get carried away, Laura. Do not get carried away. So I'm just going to put a little clear uh, acrylic block on top of that to kind of hold it down while it dries. Now I'm taking some gold foil cardstock, going to run that through with the stacked hearts. Now this, now we are talking. I mean, you know, it's getting serious when you pull out the gold cardstock because this stuff it's the bomb diggity I love it so much I could put gold on every card I make but I don't every time I use my gold foil cardstock I kind of cringe because that means I have that much less of it on hand I have a bit of I have issues I'm sure you probably know what I'm talking about okay so we'd hear that with a little foam tape onto our card base I've got this new painted hugs die another new product and I went ahead and die cut that three or four times with some black cardstock adhered it with my spray adhesive just like I did the stacked hearts give it some nice thickness so I'm gonna go ahead I'm using some glossy accents with that I put the precision tip on the ends of my glossy accent bottles and my multi matte medium i am in love with the precision tip it just it was a game changer for me uh, especially like right now i'm going to put little dabs of glue in those heart openings so i can put a little gold foil 
in there. And having that precision tip on the glossy accent was awesome. I'm only going to fill in about three of these hearts with the gold. I had to reframe, but wouldn't this be cool to do a card where you fill in each one of these hearts with all different colors? I'm thinking, and also a little gold, always, yes. So once we got done here, I figured I wanted something to add with that die cut sentiment hug. So I pulled out the best hug stamp set and I stamped sending you on a little strip of Nina Solar Y. I'm gonna cut a fish tail. I'm making a little sentiment banner to put right above the hugs. So it says sending you hugs. Just, you know, finish it off and trim that so it just kind of tucks right behind that H. I'm just gonna add a little drop of glossy accents on one side, tuck it in, leave the right side of the banner just kind of hanging out so it's like a little flag. And that is all there is to it. This card is finished. Thank you so much for joining me. Go check out the December release. You're gonna love it. There's a little something for everyone's style and taste. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.